this is chapter 3 metal and non metal and we are with the solution so uh, fill in the blanks first is fill in the blanks the property due to which a metal piece can be hammered into thin sheets is known as malleability bronze is an alloy of copper and tin third gold is mixed with silver and or copper to make it hard iodine is only non metal to have a natural luster fifth phosphorus is a non metal which catches fire in air sixth the only metal which exists in the liquid state at room temperature is mercury b match the following hardest substances diamond aluminum ore is bauxite a non metal normally existing in the liquid state is bromine a good electrical conductor is graphite and metalloid arsenic take the correct option the two most abundant metals found in the earth crust are aluminum and iron the metal used in making the alloy german silver are copper zinc and nickel when a metal reacts with oxygen and resulting uh, resulting oxide of the metal is a basic oxide out of the metals uh, gold silver copper and aluminum the one that is most ductile is gold two of the metal that cannot be stored either in air or under water are potassium and sodium answer the following question in brief name one metal and one non metal which normally exist in the liquid state metal that normally exist in the liquid state are mercury and non metal that normally exist in the liquid state is bromine question number 2 state the fraction of gold present in 18 carat gold piece A pure gold is twenty-four carat. Eighteen carat means eighteen part gold and six parts other elements. Hence, fraction of gold present in eighteen carat is eighteen by twenty-four. That is, the fraction is will be three by four. State the property of copper wire that makes them useful for electrical fittings. The property of copper wire that makes them useful for electrical fittings is that its uh, is its good conductivity, ductility, malleability, and low cost. Define alloy. a homogeneous mixture of two or more metals or met or a metal and a non metal is called an alloy example brass steel question number 5 list any two uses of non metal the two uses of non metals are for preparation of ammonia nitric acid and fertilizers nitrogen is used for the uh, purification of water chlorine is used you can see page number 50 and you can choose any two of your choice now answer the following question Uh, write the balanced chemical equation for the following reaction sodium reacts with oxygen aluminum reacts with hydrochloric acid so this is four atom of sodium and one molecule of oxygen will produce one two molecule of sodium oxide aluminum reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid so this is the balanced chemical equation question number 2 why are gold and platinum suitable for making jewelry gold and platinum are suitable for making jewelry because they are least reactive metals they retain less share for their uh, for very long period they are highly malleable and ductile question number 3 sodium and potassium is stored under kerosene give reason sodium and potassium are highly reactive metals so sodium and potassium are highly reactive metals they react with air and catch fire even at room temperature they also react very vigorously with water and catches fire therefore these metals are stored under kerosene or paraffin wax to avoid contact with air and water uh, water that is present as a moisture in air this is an exothermic reaction and a lot of heat is generated so both the metals are kept in kerosene oil so why is bronze pre preferred over co copper metal for making statues bronze is that copper uh, uh, alloy of copper and tin is preferred over copper metal for making statue statues because of its corrosion resistance characteristic characteristics the spelling is this is characteristic and unique color bronze is an alloy which is stronger and harder than pure copper and the last is value based question the chemistry teacher while teaching her student explained to them any differences between metals and non metals she told them that both of them react with the same gas oxygen but their resulting oxides are opposite in nature she then went on to say that in some more similar way we could use our stay in the school either to gain knowledge learn good manners and develop and tone up different skills or to indulge in idle gossip and other frivolous and irrelevant activities state two of the values that the teacher conveyed to her students give one example of the reaction 
of metal and non-metal with oxygen to explain the opposite nature of the oxide formed the formed in two cases let the student form this okay so let's see this the two values that teacher conveyed to her students are determination and responsibility and answer to re metal reaction with oxygen metal magnesium oxygen magnesium oxide and charcoal that is carbon uh, acts with oxygen results in carbon dioxide the oxide of metal is basic whereas oxide of non-metal is acidic that is their nature is opposite that's all thank you hope it will help